though Detroit Pistons just got some more competition um, in the uh, Mike Conley sweepstakes. Let's talk about it. Motor City Sports Talk. We're in the building. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video you dig in. Um, you know, Toronto Raptors jumped in. Uh, no, rumored. They rumored to offer Kyle Lowry and Valanciunas for Mike Conley and um, Mark Gasol. So, uh, I kind of brought that idea up on my other channel. If you want to follow it, Goodfellas Sports TV on YouTube. Check it out. And my one of my basketball live streams, I, I think I brought it up. And, um... I thought, I was like, damn, you know, why, why shouldn't Toronto go after Mike Cowley and, and, and Mark Gasol? And that would be a one-year thing because we know Kawhi Leonard going to get the hell up out of there um, after this year. He just bought a house in uh, Southern California where he's from for $13 million. So um, I was like, why not Toronto? I think Toronto, that will put a team if Conley, uh, Achilles is good enough. And, and I, ple I believe Valanciunas got enough in the tank. I think that's a team that could beat Golden State or be m most competitive. Golden State, you looking at Kawhi Leonard, uh, Mike Conley, Danny Green, Mark Gasol, Siakam, and you're looking at um, Serge Ibaka. That's a nice little team. So, obviously, people, as the trade line nears Thursday, I think about 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, whatever it is, it's getting thick, okay? It's getting real steep for the Pistons. All the Pistons offering is, is, is Reggie Jackson, the first-round draft pick, Utah was offering a similar thing. Ricky Rubio in the first round draft pick. And then now Toronto is getting in on, on, on the sweep stakes. Now, I don't know Kyle Lowry's contract or Valachuna's contract, but I assume both of them may be expiring soon, and that may be the cat relief Memphis is looking for. So, so it's looking bleak for the Pistons, you know what I'm saying, about getting Mike Conley. Um, because, for one, uh, probably they won't want – I mean, Memphis don't plan on winning, so I don't – Think it matter what conference that Mike Conley and Gasol go to, but I think they're looking for cat relief. I think they're looking to start over and build it from the ground on up. What the Pistons should be doing, and thank God if Toronto get them, because you know Piston fans, you know Pistons want to trade that first round draft pick so bad. You know what I'm saying? And you know that's what they want to do. They want to trade it when they need to keep that pick to get the team younger, not older. Conley is 31 years old, coming off Achilles injury. How can he help us? What can he do for us? How's he going to build us to a championship-level team? He not. People just happy in Detroit. Oh, let's just make the playoffs. No, I mean, I don't want to make just make the playoffs in the NBA. Anything can't happen in the NBA. In a seven-game series, you got to beat a team four times to advance. And we not, we not probably going to beat some of these dudes one time. So I want to go to the playoffs and watch us get swept but win one game. No. I'd rather just be sorry, get high in the lottery, be bad for a couple years, Build up some young talent, then get some put, bring some veterans around them, and then you know if we barely make the eighth seed or make the playoffs in the eighth seed, then I, that's better because we got a young team, we're still growing, we're still learning, and eventually we'll grow. This is the the piston ceiling right here, six, seven, seven, eighth seed, not even the sixth seed. That's their ceiling. At least with a young core and some young boys out there, you know you 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 know this, that ain't the limit, that ain't the roof. The ceiling ain't the roof, or this, whatever Michael Jordan said. But, yeah, man, I hope Toronto get him. I don't even care. I hope Toronto get him so we don't trade our pick for that, for, for old-ass Mike Lowry. Hope they get him in Gasol. Then I wonder who the Pistons are going to turn to the end. All right? They're they, they going to they gonna try to give away that, that first-round pick by Thursday. And if not, they're going to try to give away in the offseason looking for a quick fix. But nothing going to fix this team, man. Nothing. Nothing quick. It needs a total rehaul and a rebuild. And I'm going to keep speaking into existence. But Tom Gores is an idiot. You know what I'm saying? Tom Gores may fuck around and offer Memphis our first-round draft pick for the next two or three years just to get Mike Conley. Watch what I tell you. He's the type of idiot that'll do that, okay? Oh, go do what you got to do to get Mike Conley. You know, do what you got. Like, he can bring some niggas down to Detroit to watch the Pistons. I'm fuck up out of here. Ain't nobody coming to Little Caesars Arena, bro. <laughs> see no damn Mike Conley. Shit, motherfuckers ain't coming to see Blake Griffin and Dre. You know, but I'll come back with another video, talk about Reggie Jackson later. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. I link an article proving the source to be true. Just calling the rumor right now about Kyle Lowry. Let me know what you guys think. I definitely appreciate everybody for checking in. Blessings to you and yours. Hopefully, we come back with some more con con uh, content, feeling a little bit better. So, I might do a live stream later on or, you know, in the near future. So, y'all be on the lookout for that. Hit that bell icon so you get the notification. Gang, gang. Marcy Sports Talk, your boy CJ Goodfell. Let me know how y'all feel in the comment section.